So today we're going over how to wire a receptacle. We'll be going over multiple styles of receptacles, meaning different ways of stripping your wire and making the connection. Also, identifying what the colors of the screws mean. So the first step is to identify which type of receptacle you're installing to know what kind of connection you're making. On this particular one, we have a holding plate that will actually clamp down on the wire. So you only need to do a straight strip of a wire, put it under the holding plate, and tighten the screw. On this type of receptacle, you have two screws with no holding plate. You're going to need to make a curved wire and go around the screw before tightening the screw down. I'll show you both. You're also going to identify the screws and what they mean. On one side you'll see a silver screw and that is the connection for the neutral. The other side you'll see a gold screw. That's the connection for the hot. And on the bottom there's a green screw. That's the connection for the ground. So you'll notice on a duplex receptacle for the neutral there's two terminals. For the hot, there's two terminals. These terminals are actually connected with this little plate. So it does not matter which screw you go on to. They just give you two terminals. So if you want to do a fourplex or wire through the duplex, you can bring one wire here, one wire out, and they are connected by that plate. So to connect my neutral, I'm going to place it underneath the holding plate and tighten the screw. Once the screw is tight, I'm going to give the wire a tug to make sure it's firmly in place. The next step is to install the hot wire on the gold side screw. Insert it underneath the holding plate and tighten down the screw. Once it's tight, and give it a tug to make sure it's in place properly. The next step is to install the ground wire. Now the ground screw does not have a holding plate, so I'm going to make a curve in my wire to wrap around that screw. So I'm going to strip the wire a little bit long and create a curve, almost like a hook. And then install it around the ground screw and then tighten down. And that's how you wire up a receptacle. For this next receptacle style, I don't have a holding plate. So when I strip my wires, I'm gonna strip them a little long and I'm gonna make a curve in them to go around the screw. So instead of a half inch, do a little, maybe a little over an inch. And after you strip it, create the curve. Once you have the hook, you're going to wrap it around the screw and you want it to be going in a clockwise direction. The reason for this is when you tighten the screw, you want the wire to be being sucked into the screw. If you have it the opposite way, when you tighten the screw, you're actually making the wire want to leave the screw. So your hook goes in a clockwise direction. And then you tighten the screw. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the neutral side. You're going to then do the same for the ground wire. That's how you wire up that style of receptacle.